Proverbs chapter 18, verse 15. The heart of the prudent, somebody uses logic, very smart, very careful in life. He's not going to get scammed. You know, if you get scammed, you're not prudent. Get his knowledge. Not the head. The heart. Too many people think it's it's the head and it's not the head. And the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Listening more than talking. I mean, what's the old expression? God gave us two ears and one mouth. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. Uh, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord take that as the man's gift and we're going to be before great men men of like faith men who've written the Bible men who live the Bible and the man above all men Lord Jesus Christ, the gift of God. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just. I'm right because I say it's right. Though I'm wrong, and you got to bring up current events, this whole BLM thing. And the media not putting forth the truth. All right, yes, there have been white cops who have killed black men. But there have been black men have killed many white people. Why is that not reported? Their cause is right. We have been slaves to the system. Of Come on, that was years and years and years and years and years ago. You haven't been a slave. And your great, 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 great grandparents, if they were slaves, what's that do for you today? I'm going to make a statement. People are not going to like it, but it's tough. If you don't like the, the history of your slavery in America, you can get back on a ship and go back to Africa where it's nice and great and wonderful. But they're not going to give you the freedoms that America will give you. There, I said it. You don't like it here in America? Bye. I don't like it here in America. I'm waiting for the Lord to call me home. Rapture or death. Do then the Lord wants me here. He seems just what he believes. Though he could be wrong. But his neighbor cometh and searches him. <laughs> you don't need scholars. You don't need education. His neighbor walks up to him and say, That's not who you are and what you are. I know who you are. I know what you are. I mean, this whole black movement in America, you you know who is protesting truly against the black acts of America, if I can use that expression? The elderly and old black people. Your own black ministers of your black churches. These guys are just fools. I listened to a black preacher one time he was, for 20 minutes. He said, listen, the problem with these black is because of us. It had nothing to do with slavery. It had nothing to do with what, what they're telling you it has to do with. And some people call me prejudiced. I'm not prejudiced. A lot causes contentions to see. That's Acts chapter 1. We got two men here. Judas is dead. We need to fill his lot. All right, Lord, we're going to do something. Black ball, straws, whatever, Lord God. One of them is going to pick what you want, and that's the one you want. You know, if we were a Christian nation, 
and we did have God on our side, our trial and justice system wouldn't be so long. Walk in the, walk in the courtroom. He did it. No, he did it. Oh, he. If we were a Christian nation, say, okay, Lord God, the Father, to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. <laughs> yeah, right in America. They don't even use the Bible. And we were right as a Christian nation to say, Lord God, we're going to put two balls in a bag, a white ball and a black ball. Lord God, we seek your supreme almightiness, your holiness, of your all knowledge, wisdom, and power, and understanding. We're not going to waste the taxpayers' money. We're not going to waste time. We're going to ask you that the man that is guilty of the crime pick the black ball. If we were a Christian nation. You know what was solved in, in the Old Testament. The law time. Moses said if you have a controversy. You would go to the priest. And what would the priest do? They would go to God. And the high priest would, would bring out the Urim and the Thurim. And it would spell out. And parteth between the mighty. The mightiest might of might. I mean, I got the biggest gun. I got the biggest sword. And yet, if we were to seek God and get God, God would say, okay. Samson was mighty. David was mighty. King Saul was mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. It's that we can forgive, but we have the hard time of forgetting. And their contentions, arguments are like the bars of a castle. It's a security. It's a, it's locked, sealed. You're not going to break him. I know a man, I tried helping him, I tried correcting him where he was wrong, according to the scripture. I went to him personally, no one else, and he got angry with me. And he said I was right, but he won't. He been offended, he, he's an opposite of her. I had no trouble. I had no problems. Again, that comes to pride. My glass is messed up. Like pride will not have you to say, I'm sorry. Pride breaks marriages. Pride breaks churches. Paul says, you got a controversy in the church, don't take it to the law. Just find the, 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 the simplest person in the church. If not, to say, you know what, I'm going to write it off. Pride. I've got no pride. Well, let me step on your toes a little while. I'll find it. Let me get the word of God out. I'll find it. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. Here's an occupation by mouth. You speak. It's the pastor. A pastor is paid for his mouth to proclaim the word of God in guidance and counsel. And with the increase of his lips, more knowledge, more prayer, more of the Bible shall he be filled. But there are churches out there who starve their pastors and he's got to get secular jobs. That's not what the Bible says. Though Paul even worked for a living. But Paul stood firm to the pastors that were set up in the churches. He was evangelist. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Again, when something like this comes to me, I always mention Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler never fired a gun, never picked up a sword, 
never shot a cannon, never launched a torpedo, never dropped a bomb from the from the planes. Yet at his mouth, Jews were tortured and killed. And he'll find himself guilty of those crimes. And they that love it, love the power. They love that power. Shall eat the fruit thereof. God's own mouth is going to condemn them. If not, God will allow a, another man's mouth to condemn them before they die. You reap what you sow. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. And obtains favor of the Lord. You talk to some men, you think that the woman was the cursedest thing ever to be cursed. And you find women now do it. My husband is the worst thing to be ever to be worse. Why did you say I do? Why did you say your marriage vow? Well, they change. Someone made them change. The poor uses entreaty. He's asking. He's begging. He has a desire. But the rich answer wrong. No, I'm not going to give you no money. My money. I earned it. A man that has friends, very simple statement, must show himself friendly. Oh, that's it. And there is a friend that stickered closer than a brother. A brother is born, a friend is chosen. And like marriage, too. A husband and wife are to be friends. And you will find in your family that your friends will be there more than your family because your family didn't choose you. They have to put up with you. And if a friend takes off in your trials and needs and all that, they weren't really a friend. Plain and simple. 